So today we're going to be talking about lots of different news, all the stuff that's been going on over the last week. And let us know in the comments down below, have you been affected by the FTX crisis or crash? And are you doing okay in crypto in general? Obviously, we had the crash of FTX then leading to the whole market going down. And, you know, we're not in a great place for crypto right now, reputation wise and price action wise. So today we're going to be talking about what's been going on, plus some Bitcoin analysis and all that good stuff. So if you like the video, please leave a like, really, really appreciate it and subscribe to the channel for some more content. Let's get straight into it. So let's start off just by taking a look at the market. So we have us down 1% today. We're at $821 billion market cap, which is so sad to see after we did climb our way back up to that $1 trillion mark. Um, and in terms of what the top 10 are looking like, we've got Bitcoin at 16.3K. I mean, a little bit up from what it was, but still not great. And then we have, uh, you know, XRP at 35 cent, which is sad considering it was at almost uh, 50 cent, I believe the other day. And again, things just not doing that well. And uh, Solana is one that a lot of people were very, very worried about. Uh, luckily for the people invested, it didn't have the major, major collapse people thought it was going to. Obviously, it did have a major collapse going down 56%. However, people thought that we were going to see it doing similar things to Luna, where it goes down to you know $2, $1, whatever. Um, but it seemed to be more like the initial news was the thing that led to the price going down to around $14. And it's pretty much stabilized there since. Uh, I would still say be very careful of uh, coins such as Solana after the FTX fallout because no one knows what's going to happen. In terms of the SET token, it's down at $1.28. And just to give you an example, guys, looking at the last three months, you can see here at one point it was trading around $30. So yeah, what a disaster with FTX. And I hope you guys are all okay if you were affected by it. Luckily, uh, I wasn't. I was not invested in anything on FTX and we've never covered FTX on this channel. So yeah, luckily we got out of that unscathed. I know a lot of other YouTubers didn't, but Again, it's just it's a tough situation for everyone. Now, let's take a look at the news quickly. And this is uh, Elon Musk saying that Bitcoin will make it. And also five things to know about Bitcoin this week. So crypto braces for fresh FTX fallout. You can see, again, same thing. Are we going to go down further due to this crash or just in general? Or are we going to make our way back up? I'll be covering that in analysis in just a second. On top of that, we have Elon Musk kind of putting his faith in Bitcoin. So uh, against the backdrop of ongoing uncertainty, making Bitcoin price predictions is no easy task, as you guys will know from watching any YouTube videos. Turning to the moving average convergence to divergence, analyst Matthew Highland warned that Bitcoin USD three-day chart was about to repeat a bearish setup, which led to losses both times it appeared in 2022. Now, I will just say, you know, both times something appeared in 22, it's not a massive sample size, so it might, might not be the best thing to uh, kind of base your judgment of. But again, if it does happen again, not ideal. And uh, after some Twitter action, obviously Elon Musk having taken over Twitter recently, you can see here this tweet thread where we've had uh, Bitcoin is 16K down from 69K a year ago. Where will it be in another year? And that's a good question. And someone said, I think it'll be fine. And then Elon Musk says, Bitcoin will make it, but it might be a long winter. And I think that's kind of what we've been saying on this channel for a long time is, you know, overall, we believe in Bitcoin, we believe in cryptocurrency, but in the terms of the general economic uh, climates and potential recession looming, you know, it's not something we're going to probably see booming anytime soon. But the bear market is the best time to accumulate. And that's always just been a fact over the last hundred years in any market. So that's just something you have to you know look at and think if I've got the spare capital and I do want to allocate it to crypto, it's better to buy it now than it is to buy it when it is up to two, two, three hundred percent. That's just the way you got to look at it. Obviously, it could go down further. No one knows where the bottom is. So you've got a few other things here uh, about the whole buy the dip fever hits as minor sales slow and also and the sentiment data offers a modicum of hope which actually doesn't look too bad uh, but you can see the crypto fear and greed index is and actually as bad as we thought it would be um, but again that's a very small small indicator to use against the general uh, consensus so We'll see what that actually means. Let's get into the actual charts and I'll show you my previous analysis from the last time I did a video, which you guys will see or you can go back and watch. I said when we hit these lows around 15.5K, I said I was expecting a bounce back up to around 18.6 and we almost hit that. We went back to about 18.1. So you could have traded that upwards move. However, I am still expecting that as there is an imbalance in price here. You know, you can see there's a gap from this wick to this wick down here. This is an imbalance. This usually needs to be filled, especially on a daily chart. So I expect this to come up to there at some point and most likely then come down again and retest either the support at 15, 16,000 
or come lower into around the 14 to $15,000 region. You can see the two levels I marked out here. The first one is, and these are based on the weekly charts, I believe. The first one is an imbalance on the weekly charts, which starts at around 14.8K and moves down to around 14K. So that's a potential level to watch. And also one lower, which is between 12.8 and 11.8 thousand. We also have this previous level of resistance potentially being able to act as a huge support at 13.8k. So all of these confluence areas makes me think that Bitcoin will be turning around soon. However, we may see a little bit more pain to come. I personally am not going to be buying any more Bitcoin. I'll be dollar cost averaging always, but I won't be buying any more chunks of Bitcoin uh, until we come down to at least $14,000 for me personally. Um, if we don't and we just move back up, we need to take the high here which is 21,500 before I would even consider looking to be in an uptrend once again. If we can take out that high, then we can start seeing previous highs taken again and going up to new targets such as 28, 29,000, then maybe even 30,000. But I don't want to get ahead of ourselves considering we're currently sat at a level most people thought we would never get to once again. So make your own judgment on that. But those are my key levels to watch for Bitcoin. So let me know if you do agree with Elon. Are we in for a big crypto winter? Will Bitcoin make it in the end? And are you currently buying Bitcoin or selling Bitcoin? And feel free to let everyone know in the comments your key levels that you're watching as well. Anyway, like I said, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more. And we've got tons of other content for you to watch. So make sure you go through our channel and give that a good binge. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.